Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when this video finds you. Coming into a seated meditation pose, easy meditation pose. Palms are on our knees. Maybe your fingers come into major pose, either coming into more, welcoming more of a grounding practice uh, so palms are facing down or palms are facing up if you want a little bit more energy. Taking a deep inhale and rolling the shoulders up to your ears, hugging them behind you and releasing them. Exhale it out. We'll do that a little bit more. Inhaling, uh, bringing the shoulders to the ears, rolling them back so they come to hug the shoulders and releasing them back. Exhale. Starting to close your eyes if you haven't just yet. Inhaling through the nose, rolling the shoulders up to your ears, hugging the shoulders behind you releasing them. Exhale. And then on the next inhale, join me for one round of Om Shanti. Inhaling through the nose. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bringing your hands to heart center. Namaste. Bowing your forehead down. The light within you sees the light within me. Taking a deep inhale in, let's cartwheel our palms to the front of the mat. Coming into a tabletop position. Wrists are below our shoulders. Knees are below our hips. Inhaling, bringing our belly button to the mat. Chin comes up to the ceiling into cat, into cow. Exhaling into cat, arching the back. Let the cat just walk up. Back gaze to the belly button. And then we'll inhale, lifting up. Exhale, coming down. Going with your breath, closing your eyes, the flow of your body, inhaling, lifting up, exhale, lifting down, inhale, lifting up, going with the flow of your body, exhale, releasing the cat, inhale, coming up. Exhale. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale. On the next inhale, looking forward, just coming into a straight spine, straightening out that spine, bringing our palms so that they're about a length of one hand in front of us, which is bringing them out a little bit more about a hand's width, a hand's distance away from us. Bending our toes, starting to put our weight on our toes, lifting up our hips, coming into a downward facing dog. We'll take about five breaths here. Maybe your gaze remains closed. Maybe your Gaze underneath your eyelids, though, comes in the direction of your belly button. I'm just walking at your dog here. And with about two breaths, we'll take three more.
our production that we're looking forward to the front of the map, stepping back or walking to the front of the map, coming into the R that you saw smashed in on the dead body. Exhale, releasing into a forward bend, stretching out the hamstrings. Inhale, raising the arms up above us into a Bhadrasasana of the sort. Exhale, releasing the palms to the heart center and to the sides of our body, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Adjusting our shoulders, rolling them back to our ear and bringing them back behind us so they come to hug each other, engaging your muscles. Taking a deep inhale in, we're going to find something in front of us to focus on as we become as we come into a tree pose. Bringing, uh, pulling up all of your toes on your left side, and then putting your toes one by one down onto the mat, engaging your legs, engaging your muscles, grounding yourself and becoming one with the mat. Inhale, and once you find that thing on the wall or in front of you to focus on that's being still, starting to lift your right leg up into a 90 degree angle. Once you feel balanced enough here, grabbing onto your ankle, bringing it to the insides of your thigh. If you would like a modification, maybe the, left, the right foot comes to the inside of your shin, or maybe the inside of your ankle even. Just coming into a tree pose, keeping your muscles engaged. If you would like to, maybe your tree grows in your arms and legs. Perfect. Inhale. Exhale, releasing into a forward bend. Inhale as you prepare, halfway up, straightening out your spine. Exhale, placing your palms onto the mat and walking, jumping, or hopping to the back of your mat. We'll come into a plank pose as we prepare. On your exhale, coming into a chaturanga, modified is okay. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just taking a moment to breathe here. On the next inhale, looking forward to the front of your mat, stepping, hopping, or walking to the front of your mat, coming into halfway up, taking that inhale in, Adi Utanasana. Exhale, forward bend. Opening up your hips and your hamstrings. Inhale, raising the arms above us, Urdhva Sasana, upward sweep. Exhale, bringing your hands to heart center and bringing them to the sides of the body, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. And then as we prepare to do Tree Pose on the other side, lifting our toes up off the mat on the right foot and then placing our toes one by one onto the mat, grounding them, becoming one with the mat. Starting to find that thing in front of you that's in stillness to help you with balance. And then once you feel ready, starting to shift your weight onto your right leg and remaining in balance, a balanced mind or a balanced body. Once you feel balanced, bringing your left leg at a 90 degree angle. And then once you feel balanced here, bringing your left foot to the inside of your thigh your shin or your inner ankle, wherever you are in your practice, coming into a tree pose. We just don't want to come on the inside of our knee. It can result in an injury. Taking a deep inhale in, maybe 
see your arms rise around your tree. Remaining focused on that thing in front of you. Exhale, releasing your left leg back down to meet your right one, coming into a forward bend. Deep crickets, inhaling halfway up, Ardha Utanasana, straightening out your spine. Exhale, placing your palms down to the mat, stepping, hopping, or walking into the back of your mat. Plank pose, and exhaling into a Chaturanga, modified as Ooh Panther. Inhale, coming into Upward Facing Dog or Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Taking a moment to breathe here. On your next inhale, starting to bring your left foot to the center, centering that left leg, raising that right leg up into a three-legged dog, deep in your hips so that one is in a uh, breeze more than the other one. Maybe you bend your right leg, coming into a fire hydrant, stacking your hips. And maybe if you would like to Get a little bit more of a good stretch and maybe your right leg comes back coming into a wild thing. All right, and releasing, carving back out of it. Coming back into your downward facing dog feeling. Being kind to your body and listening to your body. Beautiful. And then on your next inhale, we'll go ahead and bring our right foot to center this time, raising our left leg, coming into a three-legged dog, deep in your hips, parallel, uh, equal, so that one isn't lifted above the other one. Maybe you bend your left leg, coming into a fire hydrant on the left side. Maybe if you would like to, and you, it's in your practice, or if you want oh, to try it out, coming into a wild thing on the left side. Bringing that left leg back. Perfect. So, and then releasing, inhale, exhale, coming back into our downward facing dog. Just taking a moment to breathe here. And then we'll go ahead and release our knees down onto the mat. Big toes come to touch behind us. And then the knees come to the outer edges of the mat. Inhaling, we'll push our belly button forward. Chin is looking forward. Gaze is looking forward. Opening up the heart center. Bringing our shoulders to come to touch. Exhale. Bringing our hips to come to our heels behind us, extending our hands out in front of us, and we're to extend the child's pose. Maybe your forehead comes down to the mat. Perfect. On the next inhale, coming back out, bringing our hips back to center, crossing your ankles behind you and bringing your hips behind your ankle and bringing our feet out in front of us, legs out in front of us, keeping your knees bent. 
and sneaking your feet about hip with a pipe during in shoving. Bringing your hands to the sides of your body, fingertips are pointed to the front of the mat. And we'll come into a modified boat pose to strengthen out that core. So keeping our spine straight, keeping our muscles engaged in our belly so that it's not arching in or out, starting to reuse your feet up, coming into a 90 degree angle. So if you would like to stay here, you can. If you would like a little bit more of a challenge, maybe you release your palms and you come to the sides of your legs, coming into a boat pose, strengthening that core. If you're shaking, it's okay, it's completely normal. Remember to breathe. Inhale, exhale, releasing your feet down onto the mat. Windshield wipering your hips from left to right, your knees from left to right, just massaging out your body for a moment. And we're going to do that two more times to strengthen our core. So adjusting our palms so they come to the sides of our body. And legs are remained in uh, uh, bending and our feet are about hip width apart from each other. Raise, straightening out our back, keeping the core strong. So we're using our core and keeping our shoulders uh, to touch each other. And starting to raise your uh, feet into a 90 degree angle, coming into another boat pose. Careful. Maybe your hands release. And five, four, three, two, one. Exhale and releasing, massaging up, bringing your feet from left to right. We'll just do one more and you're about done. Readjusting our legs and our feet so that they are about hip width apart from each other. And then readjusting our spine, just keeping our core strong here. Bringing our shoulders to touch behind us and starting to raise your legs, coming into another Navasana boat pose, strengthening that core. Maybe this time, if you would like, starting to raise your hands. And if you would, if you feel like you're ready, you're more balanced. If you want more of a challenge, extending out your feet, coming into a full boat pose. Exhale, releasing. And we'll come out of it, releasing our back down onto the mat. Coming into a happy baby, rocking from left to right. Closing your eyes. If you would like to connect with your body a little bit more. and releasing your feet down onto the mat. I'm just going to come into a little bit of a back bend. Keeping your feet so they're about hip width from each other. Keeping your knees bent. Placing your palms to the sides of your body. And then raising, inhaling, raising your belly button to the ceiling, coming into a bridge pose. Exhale, releasing your lower back onto the mat. We'll do that a little bit more. Inhaling, raising the belly button to the ceiling. Exhale, releasing into the lower back. Alrighty. And then this time we'll inhale, raising the belly button to the ceiling. Maybe you walk your shoulders so they come to touch behind each other. 
We maybe our palms hug each other behind and underneath your hips. Keeping your muscles engaged, making sure we're bringing our knees in so that they're about hip width apart, uh, apart from each other. And exhale, releasing. Making any last movements that you would like to make, you may be coming into a full body twist. If you would like to, or whatever feels right for you and your body. Anything that you would like to do once you're done coming into a Shavasana or Lying Down Pose. Feet at the outer edges of the mat, hands at the outer edges of the mat. Starting to close your eyes. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Repeating to yourself, I am grounded. I am happy. And I am whole and I am healthy. Allowing your body to be completely calm and surrendering in this moment. And so here for just a moment. And with your eyes still closed, it's starting to roll over to the right side of your body. Giving yourself a big hug. Thanking yourself for bringing you through this practice today. Thanking your body. And anything else you would like to take a moment of gratitude for. With your eyes still closed, starting to come up into an easy seated meditation pose. Inhaling, rolling the shoulders back so they tend to hug each other, releasing, exhale, keeping your eyes closed. And then on your inhale, joining me for a round of Om Shanti. Inhaling. to heart center, bowing your forehead down. Namaste. Great job today. Be kind to yourself and have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.